So I love movies. And that's why I got into the television industry. I create and develop content for TV. And I'm one of those who are very proud of Nollywood. Nollywood is the third largest movie production company in the world. It's something lots of Nigerians are proud of, and lots of Africans are also proud of. Nollywood has progressed from home videos to 35 millimeter cameras. They produce great movies, some of which are 76, which is about the war, the Civil War. There's most recently Wedding Party. Wedding Party was about a family, a bourgeois family, getting their children married and depicts our reality. There was another movie, it's called The Mid-Teen. There was a, an actress, Rita Dominic. It was make, she made it difficult for people to see a government official. That's our reality. Another movie called 30 Days in Atlanta. Two men going to the US for the very first time. All the drama that happened in this new world our reality. There's a quote, a paraphrase, that Africans like to laugh, be merry, and forget to fix their problems. And that's the reality of our times. We enjoy the excitement. Nothing wrong with it, don't get me wrong. We love to be entertained. But after the entertainment, we go back to our misery. Nollywood has the power to become the bridge between our reality and the future we desire. Let me take your memory back to 1936. There was a Russian movie called Cosmos Voyage about a family going to the moon. In 1950, another American movie for the very first time called Expedition Moon, rocket ship expedition, produced by Kurt Newman. Also about going to the moon. But the first man that, that, he, that went to the moon was Neil Armstrong for the first time in 1969. Somebody's imagination became a reality. Then, many of us grew up with Iron Man. Many of us grew up with Iron Man. Many of us grew up, many of us grew up with Iron Man. We read it as a comic. Iron Man was created in 1963. It became a, uh, a cartoon in 1966. Iron Man featured in Fantastic Four, the X-Men. It didn't get its own movie until 2008 for the very first time. But do you know that the US military have created their own Iron Man called Talos? Talos will be launched Next year, 2018, August, the frontliners in the US Army would wear this into combat. And it protects them from any type of ammunition. That's somebody's imagination becoming a reality. Then, many of you grew up watching Philadelphia. Remember that movie with Tom Hanks? He was the homosexual that sued his company, took them to court. He had HIV AIDS. Eventually he died. But that movie was among those that launched the gay rights movement. 20 years on, gay marriage has been signed into law. 
somebody's imagination has become a reality. Many of us grew up with chitty chitty bang bang, chitty bang bang. Or those of you who are familiar with American content, the Flintstones or the Jetsons. These are people's imagination about flying cars. But do you know, in 2017, this year, an European company, Aeromobile, is launching the very first commercial flying cars into the market. Somebody's imagination has become a reality. Then all of you watch 24, the series, Jack Bauer. We all love Jack Bauer. But do you remember the character? President David Palmer, the first black president in the series. This series prepared Americans and the rest of the world for a black president. Somebody's imagination becoming a reality. And then finally, Jurassic Park. We all grew up with the dinosaurs, Jurassic Park. Thank God there are no dinosaurs around. But do you know, if a dinosaur shows up today, you're not going to receive the dinosaur with fear. You're not going to be scared. You're likely to be amused. You want to take a selfie. Wow, they, are, they found a dinosaur. Let's go see him in the, new, in the museum. You want to take a picture. Because Jurassic Park, somebody's imagination, has prepared our hearts for these kinds of things. Nollywood has a huge power in their hands. There's nothing wrong in singing, dancing, and be happy. But we must begin to understand the power to bring the future forward. There was a story about a young boy, five-year-old boy, whose parents attend a church that all they do is deliverance. They always kill demons at the church. And the young boy asks his mother, don't these demons die? We keep killing the demons. We've been killing demons since Sunday. It's Friday already. And she's like, don't worry, they die. But you know, there's so many of them. They keep coming back. And he's like, really? Can't I just get one prayer that kills all of them once and for all? That's a young boy with an imagination. Imagine putting that in a movie. Where you finally have that one thing that kills all the demons so that Africans can finally take their lives into their own hands <laughs> and stop worrying about the ancestral witches and demons from the fathers and mothers' houses. Can you imagine a Nollywood movie that makes Africa the destination for medical tourism because there's a herb that's only available that kills all diseases? Somebody's imagination but it could become a reality. The federal government in Nigeria is trying to get everybody to drop their suits and go into farming. It's been difficult because we don't understand. We can't see it. But imagine Nollywood doing a telenovela, has the betrayal, love, inheritance, all the ingredients that makes a movie, but it's all centered around a family business on farming. And we see the value chain from start to finish. What that does, it inspires. It gives people options. Young people getting to see an opportunity in the industry farming. Can you imagine a widow who's lost her husband and everything, her children, her family, the whole works because her husband died. And a Nigerian lawyer can defend her with the Nigerian constitution, get her everything she's lost back, and we see the victory do you know what that does to the minds of people? Hmm. Confidence in the judicial system. A lawyer begins to see opportunities. The average American is taught rights, the Miranda rights in school. But it's practicalized in the movies. Even those of us that are non-Americans know the Miranda rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can be used against you in the court of law. If you, have, if you have an attorney, if you don't have, we can't afford one, the state will provide one for you. We all know it because you watch the movies. So they are taught in schools, but it's reinforced in their movies, and it sticks. So a policeman cannot stop American 
Anyhow, of course, he or she knows the rights. Constitutional rights of expression, rights of religion, rights of association, it's all there. But not in Nollywood, we like to sing, dance, and be merry. Nollywood has done phenomenally well. But we've reached a crossroads. Many African countries have reached the crossroads. It's about, it's about time we see the power we have and what we can do better with our movie industry. Let me close with this. If we want to see progress in Africa, if we want a corruption-free state, if we want good governance, a better future for our children, we must begin to paint these pictures in our movies. Thank you very much.